On today's episode of Crafty Friday, I'm going to teach you how to make some tie-dye soap. This is my first time ever making soap, so we're just going to go through the basics and I'm going to teach you this cool swirly method as well. Peace. Now let's get right into this so craftastic tutorial. Start off with a clear or white soap base of your choice and chop it into small chunks. Then put those in a microwave safe container such as a glass measuring cup or bowl. Microwave these soap cubes for about 30 seconds and then stir them all together. They probably won't be completely melted at this point, so keep putting them back in the microwave for 10 seconds at a time. While the soap is melting, go ahead and choose as many soap colorants as you want and put a few drops of each into the soap mold. Leo insisted on helping slash laying on my filming area. That's cool. Then pour that melted soap in and watch the colors swirl around. You can even use a wooden stick to help you mix them and just get a really cool tie-dye marbly effect. If you're not a fan of air bubbles, have no fear. You can just fill a squirt bottle with some rubbing alcohol and just spray that on the soap to get rid of most of the bubbles. Get creative with the way that you add color to the mold. Here I added a few drops at the bottom, poured the soap in as usual, and then I added some more drops to the top after I stirred and swirled it around. And it does help to have a clear mold because then you can look at the sides and the bottom and see how swirly it is and see if you want to mix it around some more or leave it as is. Just remember that swirling it around too much will create a solid color. So if you're going for that look, that's fine. But if not, just kind of back off after a few swirls. Another cool technique is creating layers in your soap. So here I'm filling this oval mold about halfway and I I'm swirling it a little bit just to make a pinky purple color then I'm gonna let that harden for about 40 minutes and then I'm going in with some more soap and this time I am swirling blue in that so when you pop that out it's going to look really cool and have two different layers you could do many different layers and make rainbow layered soap this way if you want to it will just take a while to dry in between P.S. If you're wondering where I got my awesome peace sign mold, I actually found it at Michael's. I used my 50% off coupon to get this really cool tie-dye soap making kit. Go figure. Once the soap has cooled for at least 40 minutes, it's time to pop the shapes out of your mold. And they should come out fairly easy. If they don't, then you can use your wooden tool to just kind of scrape around the edges and loosen it up a little, but basically you're just going to flip the mold upside down and push on the top with your thumbs and then you should see air start to get into the mold and then it should just slide right out. I actually left mine in the molds overnight, so they were super easy to push out. If you don't like the way that the back of your soap looks, you can dampen a paper towel and just kind of wipe it on there to smooth out the edges and get out any minor bumps and imperfections. Here is a short little soap test to show you how it looks when you get the soap wet and what it looks like when you're lathering up your hands with it and it's bubbling all over. Yes, it does show color on your skin, but no, it doesn't stick, not from what I have experienced right now anyway. It just washes off really easily. Personally, I like the look of the white soap mixed with the colors more than I like the clear soap, but I will say that the clear ones look pretty cool when light passes through them. Music 
Here we have all the soaps that I created. Let me know in the comment section below which bar is your favorite. And if you end up making your own, use hashtag SoCraftastic in your photo caption on Instagram to show me and I will check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoy soap making and or tie-dye crafts, then let me know and I can do some more types of projects like this in the future. Last week on Crafty Friday, which is my weekly DIY series here on So Craftastic, I did Sharpie watercolor, which is really cool. It's a method where you draw on canvas with Sharpie and then you use rubbing alcohol to make this really cool effect and make it just kind of flow all over. So that was kind of tie dye as well. I did a rainbow neon peace sign type thing. I've been in a really groovy mode lately. And here are the photos that you guys sent me of your Sharpie art along with all the other projects that were inspired by my past videos here on So Craftastic. Thank you guys so much for sending in your awesome creations. I love seeing what you guys make every week. As always, be sure to check out all of the links in the description box to my Instagram, my Facebook fan page, my Pinterest, and Twitter. Tweet me like a bird in the sky. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Hi, guys. <clears throat> my voice was a little squeaky there. You how to make rainbow, no, tie-dye. It's kind of rainbow tie-dye. I'm also going to teach you how to blah, 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 blah. Today we're going to make some so craftastic soap for your hands. Check out all <laughs> the box. I think I want a peace sign belt buckle. I'm going to make this into one and then it will melt in the rain. And get bubbles everywhere.